Olá a todos! Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk all about food. Portuguese people love food to get together with friends and family at the table. So in this episode, I will not only be teaching verbs and food vocabulary, I will be giving you some cultural inputs regarding our meals. So come along! <music> Learning a language is so much more than learning words and grammar. That's why I love to share my Portuguese culture, so when you visit Portugal, you can feel like a local and experience things the Portuguese way. Let's start with the names of the meals. O pequeno almoço. For breakfast, Portuguese people usually eat something light. It isn't considered our main meal. So on a regular weekday, it's often to have turrada and drink café com light. For kids, it's also common to have cereais com light. Eating eggs, bacon, pancakes isn't a common thing to eat at home in Portugal. But on a weekend, it has become very popular to go out for brunch, and we do use the English word, and eat a heavier meal, just like in the US, for example. Here are some sentences with the noun pequeno almoço. Eu tomo o pequeno almoço antes de ir para o trabalho. Eu como ao pequeno almoço uma torrada. These are the two most common verbs you will use with pequeno almoço. Comer and tomar. <música> Next, we have o almoço. Lunch in Portugal can be a long meal. Remember that Portuguese people in general don't like to rush eating. They like to sit, usually eat with someone and talk while enjoying a meal. That idea of eating a sandwich by a desk is something you won't find much in Portugal. We love and eat a lot of soup. We call it sopa. We consider sopa the best way to eat a variety of veggies in one take. Portuguese also eat soup all year. Soups usually have a simple base with batata, cebola, cenoura, courgette, and then we add the chopped veggies that can go from couve, alho francês, agrião, feijão, espinafres, and much more. The most famous Portuguese soup is called caldo verde, as in green broth. It's a wonderful soup made with this thinly chopped kale and comes with a few slices of Portuguese sausage chorizo. You should try it. We love soup so much that we even have franchised soup chains in malls that are a healthier option compared to McDonald's, which in Portugal also sells soup. For the main dish, Prat principal, we eat from a variety of meats, carnes and fish, peixes. For meats, it's common to have carne de vaca, carne de porco, frango, peru, pato, and even coelho. Borrego is also common in some regions. For fish, we also have a large variety to pick from. I suggest you visit a fish market in Portugal. You will be impressed with the amount and variety of fish available. It is also so much more affordable compared to the US. These are some of the most common fishes you will eat. Bacalhau, of course. As you probably know, we eat our cod salted. So cooking it is a whole process. It needs to be soaked in water at least a day before cooked. Other common fishes are pescada, cherne, rubalo, and of course, sardinhas. We eat our fish whole usually, so if bones are an issue, I suggest you try espetadas de peixe, fish kebabs that are boneless. We do have the verb to have lunch, which is almoçar. Lunch is usually eaten sometime between 12.30 and 2.00. Next meal we have o lunch. Workbooks usually don't mention the lunch very much. And while it stands for a snack in Portuguese, it's a meal that you have sometime mid-afternoon. And it is a meal for us. So a bag of chips or some crackers doesn't work as lunch. 
Usually it includes a small sandwich with bread and ham or cheese, fiambre, queijo, leite ou iogurte e uma peça de fruta. When kids come home after school, it's very common for them to lanchar. That is the verb we have to eat this snack. On weekends, it's very common for friends to meet at cafés or pastelarias to eat together this meal. I would ask a friend, Queres lanchar comigo hoje? Depois temos o jantar. Portuguese people eat dinner very late, even at home, usually around 8 p.m., many times later than that. It's very common to watch the news while you are having dinner. What we eat for dinner isn't much different from what you would eat for lunch. Many people will eat restos for dinner if they have any. Other people like to petiscar for dinner, to eat small dishes, almost like tapa style, that you call petiscos. You can start with sopa and then have pão, queijo, fiambre, presunto, or even some seafood like ameijoas, camarão, or a very well-known sandwich, prego or bifana, made with a thin cut of meat sautéed with olive oil and garlic, and usually you would add mustarda. The noun dinner and the verb to have dinner are the same word in Portuguese, jantar. On a separate note, I wanted to mention that Portuguese love fresh food. Many of us still go to the farmer's market and fish markets to buy directly. When you visit Portugal, make sure you visit these markets. You will be so impressed. You can even visit my hometown, Caldas da Rainha, that has the only open air market in the country that is open every day of the week. Unfortunately, with COVID, they are now indoors, but still worth a visit. Another thing is that in Portugal, people still eat very seasonal. So enjoy your meal when it's in season, because many things you will have to wait almost a year in order to eat it again. Fresh sardines are only available in the summer, or some yummy caracóis, or the castanhas in the fall. Definitely try to eat bread in Portugal, pão. Bread is truly amazing there. All my students tell me they love Portuguese bread. This is the first video of several I will be making about the topic comida. There's so much to talk about, I could never fit everything in one video. So leave us a comment below on what you think about the Portuguese food. Have you tried it? Don't forget to subscribe. Até a próxima! Learn European Portuguese online.